What's up, folks? Thank y'all for tuning in to the Josh Terry Podcast. Before we air our first Raising Grace rounds of the year at Live Oak, I want to give a special thank you real fast to all of our sponsors for the month of January. The veteran mental health awareness organization, Blazer 88. I did a show with Josh Ward and Brendan Wright back in December. It's entitled For Chuck. Blazer 88, go check that out now and check out their organization. It is amazing. Thank you guys for coming on. Pearl Promoting, Down Yonder Hat Co., Kim Lee Insurance, my dude, Mr. Bubba, at hashtag 601 Roofing King, Christina Martin Pictures, you are killing it. Thank you for doing uh, all the photography and stuff for us and traveling everywhere with us, Miss Christina. Cashman, shout out to Ron and Quick. Also, Sophia's, we did our holiday special there. Uh, go check them out now. Also, my dude, Project K9 Hero, Mr. Jason Johnson. He's got his big event coming up. Uh, I believe it's the, I think it's January 25th. Go check out Project K9 Hero and Jason Johnson now. And I reckon we're fixing to start having an only fans girl of the month. Miss Bailey, modern day cowgirl. Y'all saw some pictures and videos and stuff back in November where her and Miss Brianna were with us in Nashville. Go check her out now on OnlyFans at the modern day cowgirl. Before we get into the shows, though, I just want to say we had something happen that we have not happened before. It was not Live Oak's fault. Uh, it was not the sound engineer's fault. Thank you, Hasten, Dave, all the bartenders, everybody at Live Oak. You guys are absolutely wonderful. But we had five people who did not get recorded. Uh, we had some that might even be clipped at the beginning. Sorry, Riley. I think they missed a couple seconds of you on one of the songs. Also, they took all the intros out for some reason. I'm not sure. I think this record was hit late on some of them. But I want to invite back uh, Wesley Pace. Wesley, if you're listening to this brother, and Gage Cowart, I want you guys to come back. Uh, both of y'all's things were messed up somehow. You'll even hear. Uh, man, they didn't even get all of us talking at the beginning of the show. It's kind of weird. So, sorry, Tawny, Justin, uh, Miss Caroline, thank y'all for being there and helping out and everything. Uh, not really sure what happened. So, uh, that's why we're going to combine some of the episodes and then the whole fucking round with Chase Baker, Lockwood Bar, and Miss Kinsley. Uh, I want to invite y'all three back for our February show, February the 7th. Please come back. Uh, we'll actually put you on the round then. Uh, it's just a mistake. Didn't know what happened. Sound guy still doesn't know what happened. Um, this won't happen again, though. If there's a problem, we will make sure. One of the things I love doing is making sure that the artist, if you play something on our show, we want it to be the best quality uh, and all that good shit, and we want you to get it. So, uh, please, 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 Lockwood Bar, Chase Baker, Miss Kinsley, please come back. Gage Cowart and uh, Wesley Pace, uh, you guys fucking killed it. I'm sorry that you're not on this stuff. So how I broke these episodes down before we roll into it. Uh, what you're about to hear is the first little bit of the podcast that actually recorded. Um, and you'll hear Ben Bates and you'll hear Miss uh, Mickey Zink, Zip or whatever. You'll hear them. Uh, and then it'll roll into the next round, which is Jesse Wayne Taylor, Cassidy Daniels, and Ben Kinsley. Or what the fuck his name? Could catch a check. I can't ever say Ben's last name. Um, then it'll it'll skip sadly, and it'll roll into Miss Aaron Kirby, Kaylee Bishop, and Miss Danny Stacy. Uh, then Ryan Nelson, 
uh, Cole Goodwin, Will Mosley, and Riley Anderson. So that's how to break down. And then the last round with Trey Lewis, Channing Wilson, Justin Andrews, and Brian Martin are all by themselves. That one's a whole one by itself. So, uh, like I said, thank you to all the sponsors. Um, thank you to everybody that came out. It was a great show. We packed the fucking place out for our first one of the year. Uh, next one's going to be big. If you're an artist and you're listening to this and you want to play one of the shows, please hit me up. I would love to have y'all come be part of it. And um, I'm just really appreciative of each and every one of y'all. So if you're one of the artists uh, that got left out, once again, I'm sorry. Please come play February show. Thank you to all the sponsors. And uh, you know what? I'm going to shut the hell up now. And uh, I'm going to roll into myself from, <laughs> from a couple days ago. So you guys enjoy. I love y'all. Thank you for what y'all have done for me. This is going to be our biggest year yet. And it's only because of you guys. Enjoy. What's up, folks? Thank y'all for coming out to Live Oak today. This is the Raising Grace Rounds. Raising Grace stands for somewhere between Raising Hell and Amazing Grace. My daughter is also, name is Gracie. So once a month, we come up here from Georgia, and uh, we hang out with all of our friends. We get everybody to come play a show for us. It's being recorded to go out on Apple, iHeartRadio, Spotify, all that good shit. It's under the Josh Terry Podcast. So if you like what you hear while we're bullshitting for the next hour and for the rest of the night, uh, just go listen to the show. You can listen it all back. I got some guests with me. Uh, Mr. Justin Andrews, good-looking fake cowboy ass. Well, thank you, heck. Um, I'm, I'm here for your support, you know. Shut up. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Miss Caroline West with a... Uh, what the fuck? I'm going to ruin up, this the whole thing. What's the name of your podcast? Broadway Girls. Broadway Girls. And then my weakness. Just playing. Miss Tawny. <laughs> hey, baby. Hi. Uh, thank you all for coming to hang out, please. Talk a lot. The last time we did this, the guests, they didn't talk. And it was just my ass hung over trying to make all the conversation. No, that it's was your fun. hung over ass taking over so we couldn't talk. Well, it's kind of my show. I'm, I'm supposed to fucking you know, talk. I've never <laughs> seen you hung over because I've never seen you not drunk. You kiss my <laughs> ass. Uh, <laughs> as long as, as, long as oh Brian God. Martin's in town, I'm probably not. You might well, see me at the emergency room later. Well, I mean, I, give me a call. I'll Please. Come, I'll come. Uh, I hope you're part I'll of it. I'll be there in spirit. I hope you're part of it. Oh, well, I mean. Worst things have happened. Yeah. Hey, wait, hey, wait. I liked your outfit that you showed earlier. The Why'd other you one? change? Yeah. Because uh, I was uncomfortable. I'm trash, dude. I can't wear nice shit. Trash. Well, you I can't be white trash. trash unless you try, baby. I was going to wear my Texas flag Crocs, but... I'm glad you, you should did have. it. You should have. That it's other rude. one looked stupid, didn't it? I can't wear those hats. <laughs> I look like a dumbass. Uh, I missed it. Don't worry. This is Ooh, not all y'all have to endure, by the way. We're going to play some music, too. Uh, one of the things I love to do down in Georgia is I like to find people that haven't got a chance to play in Nashville. If I see them at a bar, uh, Ben here was opening up for Will Mosley and Cole Goodwin in Statesboro, and he sounds like a baby Brent Cobb to me. Oh, come on. So I was like, hey, you want to come to Nashville and play a show? He was like, okay. So he almost told me no. I was like, well, fuck this kid. <laughs> <laughs> This is hey, when you hey. talk, Ben. Oh, uh, my apologies. Yeah. Uh, hey, go yeah, ahead, bro. I, I, I almost said no because I'm still in school and class has just started. And, you know, got to be an academic stud. So, but. It sounds like you're in school for coloring, buddy. Maybe so. I don't know. <laughs> like, I hope you're better at singing. Uh, well, tell them about the song you're going to play. You got three. So this one right here, it's called Damned. And, uh, and I was sitting there, and, you know, you ain't never heard a country song that has any any kind of killing in it, have you? That oh was, yeah, that was satirical, by the way. That was that wasn't me being serious, but it's uh it's about a dude. <laughs> Damn, I was looking forward to you killing somebody. Yeah. How old are you? It's about a dude, and he <laughs> caught his wife cheating on him. So I don't think anybody's ever wrote that. Yeah, it's it's pretty original. <laughs> anyway, it's damn. Damn. Had a bottle in my left hand and a pistol on the couch. Damn. <laughs> when the police took me in that day, found another man in the arms of my wife. Caught him right where they lay. 
Casings from my old 45 Scattered all around the floor Two souls gone from this old twisted world My wife can't cheat on me no more I ain't saying it was the right thing to do You know I know who it was a sin I can't deny it I won't even try But the faithless lady forced my hand I know that what I did was wrong It landed me inside this pen But if I had a chance to take it back I'd do the same damn thing again I ain't saying it was the right thing to do You know I know it was a sin I can't deny it I won't even try But it ain't happening again It ain't happening again What uh, what was the one that you did It's about ants? Uh, the the ant song? song? Ants. Do the ant song. You want to hear the ant song? Yeah. Well, first of all, you said you said Brent Cobb. That gave me some serious Chris Knight vibes. Well, I'm sorry, song. fucker. I did sound like Brent Cobb when I heard it the first time. Well, yeah, but I mean, I was I do sto- like- storytelling wise. Oh yeah. Because I mean, if you haven't heard of Chris Knight, you're you're missing out on life. You're depressed once you listen to him. I'm really. If you are he's depressed, you're jumping stories. off something. I'd take Chris Knight, mm. too. What's yeah, your I, name I know again? Brent. Yeah, yeah, I need your handle, by yeah. the way. I can't shout you out without that. Ben Bates. Okay, well, I'm really sorry. She's an idiot, and she done spilled the drinks all over. Oh, no, like, right. I was saying the damn game. the whole time you were singing it, though. Everybody, so. everybody <laughs> spills sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Okay, what? So you got a song about ants? It's about ants. Yeah, this one. So, yeah, this is the ant song. All right. And you, you might think to yourself, why, why, why is he written a song about an ant? But, you know, if you really think about it, People kill ants a lot. Do you, you know? get high? <laughs> no, no. Are you You're not high, high right, right now? now? That's a, that's a, he looks high right no, now. But they, but, Do you guys hey, get this nervous? is just you. That's a so, bullshit. So anyway, I'll tell you what. No. So I was sitting on a bench one day, and I was I was teaching. I, mean, I wasn't teaching. I was helping my my roommate learn how to play the guitar, and uh, and there's an ant crawling on a bench, and he killed it. I said, Well, shoot, I'm an ant. Jesus and then, <laughs> and then just kind of pulled out. So anyway, I this, don't know if it's okay for me to pick on you or not. Hey, yeah, was you born late? How old your mom and dad? I want them. Yeah, I was born about two months early. Shit. No, actually, that was a joke too. My just telling you, if you don't do drugs, you'd be way more fun on them. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to hear the shit you really say. This is an ant song. I'm just an ant And I'm marching right along I'm just an ant And I'm singing this old song I'm just an ant There ain't much I can do And now this old ant He's feeling mighty blue Well I was walking on Down the street It was just the other day 
I went and spied my good friend Aunt Drew, so I turned myself his way. I went seemingly out of nowhere. You know, I saw this big fat cat step right on top. Aunt Drew squished my good friend dead and flat. I'm just an ant. And I'm marching right along. I'm just an ant. And I'm singing this old song. I'm just an ant. There ain't much I can do. I know this old ant, he's feeling mighty blue. Well, I got this other buddy. You know we come from the same mound. His name is Jake Todd Ant, and man, he's the coolest ant around. But this other dude was smoking himself a big long cigarette. And when he flicked it on the ground, it hit my friend and it burned Jake Ant to death. <laughs> I'm just an ant. And I'm marching right along, I'm just an ant. And I'm singing this old song, I'm just an ant. There ain't much I can do But now this old ant, he's feeling mighty blue Come on, son I don't know if you're allowed to do this in songwriter's rounds but <laughs> This is exactly what the hell you're supposed to do <laughs> you, you need a kazoo right now <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm just a little bitty ant And son, this song goes out to you when are you folks gonna realize that us ants are people too? I love that. that. Uh, a little advice next time you do one of these, start off with that. With that? Like, this bit, you know, like, okay. It gets you into it. <laughs> sure enough. It's fun. What you gonna end on? I think I'm gonna end with, uh, you know what? I, I was gonna end with one that I just. Put out. I just put out one song. It's called Camellia. You should check it it's out. Called what? But I'm Camellia, like the flower. You know, you should check it I don't out. Know what the fuck you saying, Steve? Camille? Camellia. Camellia. Like, like Are a you Camellia saying Camellia flower. Chameleon? Yes, sir. Camellia. I'm not gonna end on that one though. I'm gonna end on one. This is one, and uh, and I actually made this one because I. This is like the second time I've ever been in Nashville. It's like my fourth day I've ever spent in Nashville, and uh, so I don't know anything about Nashville. But I listen to a bunch of music. And I frequently hear people writing songs where it's like, "How the fuck are you not stoned right now?" I'm just not. What Jesus. Is <laughs> anyway, God. if you're if you're like this all the time, like, I want to hang out with you a lot. Oh <laughs> shit! Because like you are you're making my wheels turn as much as your wheels are turning right now. All right, all right, all right, man. <laughs> well, yeah, it, people always writing songs, right? And it's like, uh, you know, I'm on. I'm going to go to Nashville. I'm going to make it big, you know. And, uh, and I thought, I was like, well, I'm going to make one. And this dude, well, you just have to listen. Okay, here <laughs> we go. Standing by the railroad tracks one morning Eight o'clock I heard a whistle blow Ran inside my shack and grabbed my guitar Seventeen years old I hit the road Didn't leave a note for my poor mama didn't have a clue that I might leave I thought a lot about her as I was thumbing And in four days time I'd made it to Tennessee A couple hours later I hit Nashville That's where I am now Heard that's where you go to make it big Thank the driver I had bombed a ride from and Then he said to me as he climbed out of his rear Son, I've seen a few folks make the big time A lucky few accomplish all their dreams Most of all you drifting guitar pickers 
get turned away and lose your self-esteem So if you take some sage advice from this truck driver Don't you let nobody slow you down And don't let your head get too big for your shoulders And don't sell your soul to make it in this town had a little money that I'd saved up I used it for a low rent place to stay Then I went to find myself a day job And a place to pick my sleepless nights away Started playing solo there on Broadway I don't know if that actually happens but not too far from 16th <laughs> Avenue Tried to write Oh, shit <laughs> Damn <laughs> Sorry Not at all what I thought you were going to sound like. No way. But I really fucking like it. Yeah, That's thanks. cool. I like the hell out of yeah, that. Yeah, I and definitely I, didn't think you were going to sound like thanks, that. Thanks, Court. You was right. And I can be honest. I haven't no heard chance. anybody sing and sound like that. That's what so. I was hoping you'd say. Hell yeah. 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 It's like new AG bluegrassy. Yep. And I'm an old shit, yeah. too, so yeah. Yeah. believe it or not. <laughs> no, we can believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I like a little bit of country, a little bit of rock, you know. It's cool. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a whole Mix. different vibe. I like it. Yeah, thank you. It's fire. Thank you. Okay. Well, I guess I'll do hey, the next oh, one. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Doesn't he look like he's been through like three divorces? That's oh, what still a job. Hey, no, no, just go ahead and tell, hey, tell the people what they Does want. Does he not look like he's been through like three divorces, lost his ranch twice, and got a crack addiction? <laughs> Well, damn, Josh, yeah. what do you think you look like? I look like shit. No, he looks like my brother. <laughs> no, roll yeah. hard, put up wet. If you don't stop sleeping on the couch, you can't come over yeah, no if you, more. Hey, like, hey, you got to pay rent. You're like, what are you doing? Man, you got anything in the fridge? I'm coming over. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going to eat shit besides still a catalytic converter, bud. He can barely sit down with them starch jeans. I, well, this is it gets off the hey, rails about like right I now. Like I said, you can't be white trash unless you try, baby. You're trying hard as fuck. <laughs> hey. With every, uh, what's every the, ounce. What's the next one you got for us? 
Okay, well, Court said you really like sad country. Ah, uh, sad girl country is my favorite so, favorite thing. So, um, we love yeah, sad so this, country. we already had a, a grandfather song this evening, but I got to do another one. Uh, <laughs> we love hey, happy songs. Uh, sad songs hey, make me happy. Well, life. you should have said it faster. I said Well, happy this songs. one is supposed to be kind of, kind of happy in a way. It's about my grandparents and their love story. Um, they were married for uh, almost 57 years. Oh, good come time. on. So that's yeah. quite a long time. Um, and my grandma told me, he, my papa did pass at the end of 2021, and um, my grandma told me no matter how sick he got, they fell asleep every night holding hands. And um, Well, that was I'm something. fixing to fucking cry already. <laughs> I am playing traffic. You're screwed. Um, and this song is out, so if you like it, go give it a listen. But it's called Holding Hands. So. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Come on. In the mirror, blue dress and pink lipstick This car's getting nearer, I gotta be quick I'm more than nervous, I hope he is too Shaking hands as I put on my high heel shoes From the moment I climbed the last seat there was something by the way he smiled at me And we were holding hands and making plans I know what the future had The memories of you and me A family we couldn't see yet But isn't that the best That right now this is our past We didn't understand but Just the two of us Preacher says, you may now kiss a bride. Well, I can't lie, there's some tears in my eyes. But like that first day when I look at you, I, I know I'm right to say I do. We were holding hands and making Of you and me, a family we couldn't see yet But isn't that the best? That right now this is our past We didn't understand But just the two of us Holding names Laying here Like we have for all these years Right after those doctors, they told me my biggest fear. How am I supposed to let go? Could be the last time I, I feel you holding your hand in mine. We were holding hands, we made our plans. We know what that future had. The memories of you and me, a family around us we can't see. Yeah, isn't this the best that we lived out our past? Now we understand, but just the two of us holding hands, holding hands. Ooh. That's fucking smooth. That is smooth, dude. Thank you. All right, this is the last one yeah. for us being up here. By the way, we're not up here the whole six hours. Uh, Thank just, God. Just, shut up. It's just this one right here. Uh, this hour, then everybody else is going to play regular rounds the rest of the night. But uh, please continue to have fun with us and uh, support all these folks. Share their shit. Uh, don't be scared to share somebody's stuff on Instagram. It takes two fucking seconds. If you don't, we're going to come out there and make you. Right. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm a cowboy. I'll tell you what to do. I'll poke you with a toothpick. <laughs> You'll poke you with something. Uh, <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> Shut up. All right. What are you going to song, darling? Yeah. Well, again, thank you for having me. Anytime, ma'am. Um, my name is Mickey Zip. If you're listening, it's M I K K I and not M I C K E Y M O U S C. That's so probably I why like I didn't know how to say it. Make that. 
differentiation, whatever that word is. Uh, <laughs> um, but this is called The Devil. There's been a lot of songs about the devil. He's here. And, you know, <laughs> and usually they say a song is a hit if it's got the devil in it. So I decided to try my hand at it. This podcast is now called The Devil Show. <laughs> I need some Amazing. more money, bro. But wait, is Zip your actual, like, it's not my full last name, no. Okay. It's shortened. I just she had, said full I had to ask. Yeah. Let's hear, let's hear yeah, the extent. Full ass what, yeah, what curious. can be short for Zip? Zipparo. Oh, yeah, you wow. should definitely use Zip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you, you yeah. so why didn't you go Zipper? Yeah, yeah I, Zipper. I like branding. I could do like a Zippo lighter. Did you think her Zippo name was Zipper? Kinda, no, I'm saying I mean, why didn't she go Zipper instead of Zip? I, I kind of like curious. the whole thing. I like Zip. I kind of like the whole thing, too. Uh, yeah, All right. you, we'll you, try and spell you picked it. a very good. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, no, hey, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't don't hold, start hold with on. me. This mine mine t- says Andrews, but my last name is German. That's why my stage. So name you is picked Andrews. Andrews. That's my middle name. Dick. Okay. Well, what did <laughs> what? you say your actual <laughs> last name was? I want to play a game with them real fast. Um, Zapparo. <laughs> okay. Okay. P Z I P P A R whatever you know. Is that no. even close? Okay. Tony, 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 Zapparo. Zapparo. Zapara. Is that the word? Do you need it in a sentence? Oh, well, I'm trying to think <laughs> through. Give me a question. Why did she say that? Zipparo. Okay, so Z I P P A R O W? Mm-mm. Not even Damn. Quite. All right, I want to see this. Z I P A R A. Failed the spelling bee. No. That motherfucker can't spell. I don't oh, know I'm dyslexic. So we're going to go with no. zip. <laughs> yeah, so that's why she chose zip, everybody, because we can't spell her fucking name. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way. I'm not even going to fucking try, dude. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> not well, even, well no. you got two first names, so. I got three first names. Three first names? Yep. What's your last middle? Or Joshua whatever? Lee Terry. Okay. Mm. Yeah, my name says poor as. Uh. So, so is, is, it, is it like a ginger thing? Like I grew up in a trailer park. Is it like a ginger thing to where everybody has to have Lee in their name? You know Lee <laughs> <laughs> That Boy. is accurate, though. Our buddy, our buddy Lee Tucker, he's a red bearded bald guy, too, almost. He's an asshole, is what he is. <laughs> if you've ain't, if you ever been around Lee Tucker, you know what he's saying. Because <laughs> like, he's not here, I can say this. He, this is how lazy his son bitch is. He taught his dog to shit in the bathtub so he didn't have to walk down three flights of stairs. You're lying. I'm not. It's a little Frenchy. Like yours. No. Frenchies are smart. We walked out of well, here tonight. To shit yeah. in the bathtub? Look, My roommate's cat he used to shit in the bathtub. Like Frenchies in the bathtub. In the bathtub. I have yeah, like so many questions. like the dog gets in the bathtub to use the bathroom. That is disgusting and, tr- and That is actually I'm going to go get the dog. Him. Jen, we're going to get the dog. I didn't say that it wasn't. I'm just saying... Oh. You'd have to know him. And you were friends with this motherfucker. We come, we come walking out of the front door here playing one night, and he goes, "Hey, you want to go to Red Door?" And I was like, "Yeah, let's let's go." We start walking, and I turn around, he's standing there, and I'm like, "Well, are you coming or not?" He goes, "I'm getting an Uber." I said, "It's downhill, just trip and fall, and you'll roll." Like just, I mean, you'll have to do this. Everybody knows Lee Tucker because we started doing it already. Me and Mark Orient, we're writing a song. It's called All Tuckered Out. <laughs> all tuckered out and is telling about the worst story with Lee Tucker. Yeah. It, it'll be great because it's the funniest shit ever. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just still really concerned about his dog shitting in the bathroom. I wish, same. I wish that I'm you knew there. Lee Tucker. You will, you will meet Lee Tucker. Well, well, after this, I'm probably telling us to just shut the fuck up. So all right. The <laughs> let's dog fi- story kind of sold all. it off. Let's, let's me, finish but... it off. <laughs> all right. Well, well, we thanks get in again. trouble. Thanks again. Anytime, darling. Anytime. Thanks, Core Taylor. It's called The Devil. Why do you come back Dancing on my shoulder I try to shake you But you keep getting butter And I'll just settle down Until you go away But that don't work Cause you said Start shaking like I can't breathe. I lost all motivation and my mind's playing tricks on me. My good thoughts don't know how to stay when that devil comes out to play. I put 
push away everyone I love They can never help here tonight at seven minutes to play. Uh, y'all give it up for everybody who played. Ms. Especially yeah, Mickey Ziff. Zipporah. Thank you. Zipporah. Hey, I'm what? going with the OG. I'm going with the OG. So I'm still going with the Zipporah. I'm still going with the OG. Well, you are not I'm smart. I'm glad you can sing. Uh, <laughs> if you want to hear this guy later, come back uh, or stay here the whole time. But he's playing at 10. <laughs> and I promise you, he sings better than he commentates. <laughs> boy, ain't that the truth. Is this commentating? Don't, don't when, come when, back when and listen you, to When, when you invited me up here to do this, I was like, boy, did you fuck up. Well, it's because somebody uh, canceled on me at the last minute. Oh. Well, I mean, fair enough. I mean, I'm here because I'm your friend. Wait, well, so he was it. a second choice? <laughs> yeah, he was definitely second. Why would you do that? That's and also, so if there had been another attractive woman that wanted to get up here, Ooh. clickbait. Michelle. See? Michelle. If they'd have been here before you got here, I'd have been like, eh, he's good. He's got a furry hat. Fuck him. Well, uh, Don't talk I'm, shit about Justin. We, he's I a great commentator. I take it for a walk every day. It, you should. Uh, all right, so we're going to break this down. The rest of them's writers rounds rest of the night. Please go subscribe to the Josh Terry Podcast. Everything you hear tonight comes out on an episode in the next couple days. Each round is an individual episode, so you can listen back to all of this. It's available on all major platforms. And y'all give a round of applause for my special guest here today. <laughs> buy you one of hey, these buy, hats. Buy a hat. I really was hoping nobody The cheap ones. The <laughs> cheap ones. They're 35 I'm not doing it with you. Uh, <laughs> anyway, play some music. We'll be back in a few minutes. Waiting down the line. Y'all having a good time so far? Well, it's going to be better because you ain't got to listen to my fat ass talk that much anymore. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, I want to introduce y'all to these fine folks up here. Mr. B I can't ever say your last name, Ben. Give it a shot. No. You got it. Just say it. <laughs> just, just call me Ben. It ain't American. I don't know how to say it. It's Connect, right? Or yeah. Canuck. Cadillac. Cadillac? Yeah. Yeah, I can't do that shit. They're going to learn it. Uh, here's a normal name, Miss Cassidy Daniels. Thank you for being here. I paid a lot of money for that name. Thank you. Right. Hey, uh, just because he don't have an American name, y'all can still give him a round of balls, too. Give him yeah, a round of balls. Fuck me, I guess. That's fine. <laughs> that, yeah, pretty much. Uh, this guy right here, real quick, uh, first of all, thank you to all the sponsors and everything for the show, but this guy right here does a real important job. He works for Creative Vets. I love this dude. He's a special human being. So I want y'all to give a round of applause to Mr. Jesse Wayne Taylor. And I would love for y'all to go check out Creative Vets, please. All right. Enjoy the show and make some damn noise. We ain't doing that shit here. Yeah. <laughs> this is not the Boring Riders rounds, folks. If you come here, you're partying. Get drunk. Have a good time. Post them on social media. Have fun. Don't be lame as shit. Let's go. You're, you want to start it off? You want making me fire things up? Come on. Oh, awesome. Like Josh said, my name is Jesse Wayne Taylor. I was born here in Nashville and, and raised in Fairview, Tennessee, which is like 40 minutes towards Memphis from here. Like you said, I work at Creative Vets. I am the staff writer and music instructor there, and we work with wounded ex-combat veterans that are dealing with PTS, and we teach them art or music to deal with what they are going through. Um, yeah, it's really, really cool. I'm lucky to be a part of it. And uh, actually, tonight, I'm going to play you three songs that I have written in the past year and a half with Creative Vets, most of which I hadn't even got a chance to play out in front of anybody yet. So well, come on. Yeah. come on. Yeah, I'm going to quit talking about it, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to jump into playing them here. My buddy Ken is actually here with us tonight. Ken Warner and I, we've written two songs through the program, and he's done some mentoring as well in the program. And uh, 
we had an awesome first session, but we got done with a whole song in the first session. We're supposed to get two sessions to get one song, right? Well, we got done with one song in the first session, and I was like, well, we need to at least start one in the second one, right? So I asked him what he wanted to write about, and he looked at me, and he said, I don't know, Jesse. I think I just want to write a song about life, right? And that's exactly the face that I made, because I was like, well, there's a million different ways that we can go. I said, but let's jump on in here and see what we can do. And uh, this is a song that we wrote together called Life As I See It, and it turned out to be one of my favorite ones out of the 115 or something like that that I've done in the last year and a half. Well, I'm just an old burned out hippie Killing my time Spending every one of my days And it ain't cost me a dime When I wake up in the morning Till I go to sleep at night I see too many things go down that I don't think are right But I still tell myself Don't throw it away, just do your best every single day To make somebody else feel a little better when you walk away You can get in there and live it, all oh, but you can't guarantee it that's just life, life as I see it. That's just life, life as I see it. Well, every single one of us are different, and that might be true. But we get along a whole lot better if we just had a clue that my ideas ain't yours, and your ideas aren't mine. But that don't mean we can't be friends. It just means we gotta be kind So don't throw it away Just do your best every single day To make somebody else feel A little better when you walk away You can get in there and live it All oh, but you can't guarantee it I said that's just life, life as I see it That's just life, life as I see it there's a method to my madness If you want to try And you better believe I'll live by this Until the day I die So don't throw it away Just do your best every single day To make somebody else feel a whole lot better When you walk away You can get in there all oh, but you can't guarantee it I said, that's just life, life as I see it 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 go. I love that. Thank you. <laughs> I got you. All right, y'all. How we feeling out there, Live Oak? Yeah. Thank you. Table four. Appreciate you. <laughs> uh, my I'm surprised you know your table numbers in here. I don't. How much, I just how much time do you spend in here? You know the fucking table I don't want to admit that. <laughs> I asked the bouncer yesterday. I come in here. I said, hey, how's your book going? Are you still reading? He's like, yep, I still am. I'm like, oh God, I need to not be here as much. Uh, my name is Cassidy Daniels, y'all. I'm from Marion, North Carolina, and also Fort Campbell, Kentucky, and uh, the whole state of Florida. I've moved 15 times. I'm an Army brat, so uh, that's a whole story in on itself. And I can't figure out what I want to do for my first song. Uh, I've got two options that I'm thinking of, and y'all can help me decide. Uh, there's one that's, like, really, really wholesome, and it's about my family and kind of the way that you know, their, kind of their story. And the other one is straight up about sexual tension. Which one Sex. do y'all want to hear? Is, is, is that the consensus? Bet. Who wants wholesome? Who wants sexual tension? Yeah! God damn it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a song for another time, I guess, y'all. <laughs> I wrote this with uh, my producer, Chris Raffetto. 
and a good friend of ours named Emily. It's called Almost Started Smoking. Messed up my hair, messed up the sheets. You made me lose my mind and I could barely breathe. Was it the wine? Was it the music? Or just the things you did that made me want to do? You were giving me this craving that I never had. Every part of me was shaking and never felt like that. Had me caught up in the moment. I ain't even joking. You love me so good. I almost started, almost started. I should have known before I did it. Cause now I understand how people get addicted. It tasted so good and it's so smooth. It was the only thing I wanted after wanting you. Or giving me this craving that I ain't ever had. Every part of me was shaking and never felt like that. Had me I think about you and I almost buy a pack. You were giving me this craving that I ain't ever had. Every part of me was shaking and never felt like that. Had me caught up in the moment. I ain't even joking. You love me so good. Thank y'all. <laughs> Appreciate it, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> nice. I gotta follow that shit. As he plays like 15 instruments on stage. I'm the fucking difficult one at Riders guitar. Rounds. <laughs> Let's just bring every goddamn instrument we know. <laughs> I love it. It's great. My guitar is sick too. There we go. Thank you. Like I said, uh, my name is Ben Kadlicek. Try to say that three times fast. One of these days, Josh is gonna get that. Probably not. <laughs> you gotta be sober to get that name. <laughs> well, I'm about to celebrate my five month anniversary of living here in Nashville. And within the first two months of living in Nashville, I found a girlfriend and then I lost a girlfriend. It'd be that way. You don't think it'd be like that, but then it do. It do. The good part is uh, I now have an EP's worth of fucking songs uh, that's coming out, hopefully Valentine's Day. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, I've been doing a lot of co-writes. I had to sit down and make sure I could still write a song by myself. And I did, and uh, this, is, uh, this is that song. It's going to be on this record. It's called Moving Forward, Moving On.
feelings inside I have my heart and my mind In a numb down drag out losing fight I'm starting to feel like I belong in this town But it's hard for me to feel at home In an empty house But the sun will still rise A new day on down I'll get up and get after what I want I'll stay as busy as I can Till I gotta go back home If these clouds Ever break in the sky gets clear I'll find a star I can wish upon And just because I'm moving forward Doesn't mean that I'm moving on Doesn't mean that I'm moving on But the sun will still rise A new day on down And I'll get up and get after what I want I'll stay as busy as I can Till I gotta go back home If these clouds ever break in the sky gets clear I'll find a star I can wish upon and Just because One more night One last time I'll let myself feel this way For a little while Thank you He's like, I don't know how I'm going to follow that And then sings the shit out of it Like, what? <laughs> I'm mad at it. Okay, so one of my favorite things about um, the job that I have, so there's a main program that, that combat veterans can go through where they, they come to Nashville free of charge, and they get paired with uh, hit songwriters in Nashville, and they write their story, sometimes at backstage at the Grand Ole Opry, and sometimes at different studios or, or publishing houses around town. And then the following day, we go into a studio and record all of those songs um, right in front of the veterans. It's a pretty cool experience. But we can't serve as many people that way. And so they have me running a little mini program to where I write virtually one-on-one -on -one with veterans all over the country. And, uh, yeah, we, it's, it's always set up to where I'm, I'm basically writing their story. It's not up to me what we, what we write about, but... Um, I just help them, I help facilitate them and get them to the end, to the song. And uh, there was a gentleman that I worked with um, named Gary Darling. And uh, when I asked, I, told, I always tell my veterans right off the bat about 20 to 30 minutes about my life and about some of my lower points to try to let them know that, hey, we're all people and things happen and and uh, just to try to let them get to know me a little bit better. And I got done speaking to him, and he's, he was just like, wow, man, thank you for sharing all your stuff. And, and I was like, well, you can share about yourself. And he shared about himself a little bit. And then I said, well, let me know what you want to write about. And this dude had just come to Jesus for the first time in his life. And he was really, really, really excited about it. And he wanted to tell me all about it. And he did tell me all about it. And he kept telling me, he was like, dude, I feel like I'm brand new, right? I'm going to try not to start crying. I, I cried know, the last I time I played too. this song, okay? So don't get me fired up over here, all right? I'm, I'm looking at you, hoping well, you can help me not cry. No, I'm a crier. Don't look Okay, well, then we're both screwed, <laughs> okay. all right? So he kept saying, I feel like I'm brand new. I feel like I'm brand new. Well, honestly, 
I didn't feel like I was brand new. I felt broken, and I felt a lot of pain. And I became a Christian a long time ago. <clears throat> but I didn't feel brand new in that moment. And I, I did come to the realization in that writing session, though, that no matter whether I felt that way or not, that's the way I was made. Brand new. Every stinking day. Okay. So this is the song that we wrote together. It's called Brand New. was just a lie I had never felt so far gone I couldn't help but stay in trouble always shooting double I never could find my way back home until Jesus came into my life no nothing's been the same Ever since that night, I'm brand new. I got a clean slate, took all my burdens and I gave them away. I'm brand new and I'm going to shout it, doing kingdom work and I'm all about it. I'm dead to my old self, you know it's true. Lord, I'm talking brand new. Brand new. Working on my heart every day I get a fresh start It feels so good now to see it show But that devil don't go away So I turn to God to pray Down on my knees is where I go I'm talking brand new I got a clean slate Took all my burdens and I gave them away I brand new and I'm gonna shout it doing kingdom work and I'm all about it I'm dead to my old self you know it's true Lord I'm talking brand new a brand new a brand new don't let the world keep it from you if you open up your heart, you can have it too. Lord, I'm talking brand new. I got a clean slate, took all my burdens and I gave them away. I'm brand new and I'm going to shout it, doing kingdom work and I'm all about it. I'm dead to my old self, you know it's true. I said I'm dead to my old self, you know it's true. Lord, I'm talking brand new, brand new, brand new, brand new. Thank you so much for singing that with me. You don't know how good that made me feel. I love it. You know, this is not politically correct at all, but it takes balls to sing a song about Jesus in a bar. So you go hey, off. I love come that. Come on, Josh Terry ain't afraid to talk about Jesus every once in a while. I'll sing a song about Jesus in here. I'd love to see it. I hope y'all don't care. I'm gonna sing a song about a shitty ex. Is that all right? <laughs> I love Jesus, but I curse and drink sometimes. It's okay. He loves me the same. <laughs> Um, well, so I wrote this song that I've got coming out on Valentine's Day uh, in some way, shape, or form, and it's called Heart Shaped Necklace. And uh, ladies, I'm going to cause some controversy real quick. Has anybody ever gotten heart shaped jewelry before? How many of y'all actually wanted it? Thank you. Okay. 
and I don't want this to sound mean because every time I sing this, some man's got something to say about, oh, you're ungrateful. Da, da, da. No, here okay, is the thing. Uh, don't buy her heart shape. <laughs> here's the thing. Here's the thing. This will make sense to y'all. So um, the, the man that I was with, I was with him for five years. And the fourth year we were together on Valentine's Day, he was all mad about it, first of all. He's like, oh, it's just a holiday to buy people stuff. And I'm like, I'm not materialistic, girly. Everything I've got on is from a thrift store, I promise you guys. Like, I'm not that girl, but um, this dude just kind of wrote me off on Valentine's Day. I just wanted some effort, and I'll be damned if I didn't wake up February 14th and he had me a little box that had a heart-shaped necklace in it. And um, that is something I would never in a million years put on my body. And at that point, I was like, you know, this dude don't know me at all. And uh, the relationship soon ended after that. And like I said, it's not a materialistic thing. It's just solely on the fact of like, know your woman, fellas. Know your woman. That's all it is. This one's called Heart Shaped Necklace. I hope y'all don't hate me after it. Baby, I should have seen the day you gave it to me. Red box with a bow, February 14th. But he didn't know me at all. I looked him in the eyes and I faked a smile. It's the thought that counts, but he didn't even try. So if you try to make me fall, I don't want another heart shape. I don't want another off for show I don't need another turn my neck green Play it 14 carry fools gold Give me a rush, it's gonna leave me breathless Never gonna question if it's real, yeah The kind of love that's wild and reckless I don't want another heart-shaped necklace Mr. Right will show up holding wildflowers, spin me under the moon in a rain shower. And he knows me like the back of his head. I don't want another heart shaped necklace. I don't want another all for show. I don't need another turn my neck green. Play 14 carry fools gold. Give me a rush, it's gonna leave me breathless. Never got a question. Shaped jewelry. Love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> she said, I'm going to Claire's. <laughs> All right. I love it. Let me scoot over over yonder right here. I took a shower today. <laughs> He's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> we like showers. Showers are good. That's good. Be that way. <laughs> oh, it's for the piano. <laughs> I was like, why are you doing All right. It ain't because you stink. Uh, nice. Is this free bird? Oh, 
But while we're on the subject of Jesus, I know y'all motherfuckers didn't go to church on Sunday. And it's going to be cold as hell this Sunday, so why don't we have a little church right now, huh? It's kind of funny how things come full circle, man. I was talking to uh, Brian Martin earlier, and I realized we got a mutual friend, uh, another coon ass from Louisiana, my buddy Lucas Jagno. Uh, so when I was greener and dog shit, I entered this competition, the songwriting competition in College Station, Texas, and I somehow made it to the finals, and I was out of fucking songs. I didn't, I didn't have shit to play for the finals. So I came home and uh, I wrote this song, or I say I wrote, I had uh, divine inspiration. This song came out in 10 minutes, I kid you not. And I took it to the finals and uh, Lucas Jagno beat the fucking brakes off of me. That boy can write a song. But anyways, I like this song a lot and I put it on my record um, that we were doing at that time. And uh, fast forward a couple months, it didn't really do shit for me, but I was opening for one of my buddies, uh, Jacob Bryant in Texas, Arcana, Texas. and. We happened to play this song in soundcheck. He come up to me afterwards and said, did you write that? I said, yes, sir. He goes, I want to cut it. I said, you're full of shit. Turns out he was not. Uh, he called me a couple weeks later. It was about noon on a Tuesday. He said, can you be in Nashville by 5 o'clock? And I said, shit, I guess so. It was the first time I ever came here. He picked me up in his tour bus from the airport. It was real cool. We went and recorded this song and made his record. And then he uh, called me a couple weeks later and said, this is going to be the single. And he called me a couple weeks after that and said, this is going to be the uh, the first one we take to country radio. It peaked at 36 or something, but uh, it bought my down payment on the truck that's sitting outside and a couple Big Macs after that. And it's my first cut as a songwriter. It's called Amen. Hey. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. I was sick. I tried. Who's your favorite piano player? Well, I, well, I mean, I grew so funny. I, my piano teacher, I was classically trained. She was the choir director at my parents' church. It's like 80 year old Methodist lady. Love yeah. it. And she taught me Bach and Beethoven. And at some point, I found Leonard Skinner in Lincoln Park. And I think I caused her well. early departure from this earth. We love her. Um, but <laughs> oh growing up, God. Phil Vassar, dude, because nobody else was playing keys. No way. Fucking, I love Phil Vassar, you know, too. So it was but... like you, you, you got your three choices. Pick your character. You want Elton John, Billy Joel, or Phil Vassar. And I was like, well, Jerry fuck, Lee I wear Lewis. cowboy boots on a daily basis. Let's go with <laughs> Phil Vassar. That's hilarious. Love okay, I love, some, I love some Phil Vassar. I feel that. All right, guys. I'm going to do one more that I did, uh, that I wrote with Creative Vets. This is one that uh, I wrote several years ago now. We got to do this one backstage at the Grand Ole Opry. And my buddy Dan A. Bear was the, the veteran going through the program at the time. And uh, when he was talking to us in, in uh, this songwriting session, he said, I, I want to write a song for my kids. I want to try to help them understand how I'm feeling and what I'm going through. And uh, so we ended up coming up with this song called Unbroken. And uh, the first time I met Josh Terry, as a matter of fact, was when I was singing this song. Good times. Actually, here at this place, he was sitting his his bald, red head, red faced butt right there at a table <laughs> with Lee Tucker, and they was sharing beers and rubbing rubbing bellies down here together. And uh, I don't yeah. even want to know what that means. I'm scared. not much is not much has changed, really. Woo! Not much has changed. This song's called Unbroken. It goes out to uh, all the, uh, the kiddos. You said you were an army brat. Well, this goes out to you and all the, all the kids because, uh, you know, they have their own battles to deal with with their parents not being there and things of that nature. And so hopefully this song will help you get a little insight in on that. Before I do fire off on it and let these two awesome guys, a guy and gal finish up here. I do want to say, if you know any veterans that might be interested in the program, please tell them all they got to do is check out creativevets.org. There's a button right at the top of the page. All they got to do is click apply. And as soon as they apply, they will go to our veteran coordinator and our veteran coordinator will then sift them out into whatever programs that they can get into. Um, and so please tell them, um, Ultimately, we are here to help prevent veteran suicide. That's our main goal. And so, um, yeah, ultimately, if you know anybody struggling with that, please send them our way. It's not necessarily a, a, a end-all, be-all fix, but, man, it, it really it's amazing to get to see people learn new art forms and have the opportunity to open up and express themselves in ways that they hadn't done um, and this is a little bit of it right here. I know I'm your daddy And I'll always be Even though sometimes it seems like you have to daddy me like daddy are you okay are you all right did you have another dream last night well i wish you could have seen me when i felt like superman back before i lost that piece of me out in the desert sand and all the sky ain't always blue and i ain't gonna lie to you I'm broken, but I'm in the fight Yes, I'm broken, but I'll be all right I'm so broken, but here's the truth I feel unbroken when I'm with you When I'm with you Well, there's a lot of pain behind the scar on my right knee But the ones that hurt the most Are all those scars that you can't see I try to act tough and cover it up Keep 
keep it all locked up inside yeah deep inside you know i'm broken but i'm in the fight yes i'm broken but i'll be all right i'm so broken but here's the truth i feel unbroken when i'm with you the way you smile the way you laugh the way you love it brings me back you bring me back yeah you bring me back you know i'm broken but i'm in the fight yes i'm broken but i'll be all right i ain't i'm so broken but here's the truth i feel unbroken when i'm with you you know i'm broken but i'm in the fight Yes, I'm broken, but I'll be all right. I eat, I'm so broken, but here's the truth. I feel unbroken when I'm with you. When I'm with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. My name is Jesse Wayne Taylor. Check out Creative Vets. Also, if you like listening to original music written by veterans for veterans with the help of some Nashville songwriters, however you stream music, type in Creative Vets. Give a few of those songs a stream. I'm not a veteran. I'm just a bald-headed civilian that loves playing guitar and writing songs and gets to hang out with them all the time. But one of my favorite things about the songs is it helps me bridge the gap a lot of veterans feel like civilians don't understand them and a lot of civilians feel like veterans don't understand them and there's just like this gap right but these songs help us understand that there's really not so much of a gap there check them out creative vets jesse wayne taylor's the name rock it out y'all thanks for having me you did that for meanness. He knew Hell that yeah, was going to wreck me. Yeah. And it, <laughs> i was like don't look over here because i was I crying i'm glad i've got three minutes for you to for you to go so I can compose myself again. So I feel I, I could feel you saying that with your eyeballs and so I didn't I didn't I turn. Like, Damn it. Y'all are so wholesome well, and sweet and I'm wholesome is not how I've been. I've never been accused of being wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> he said we ain't here to be wholesome. If we're hanging out with Josh Terry, wholesome's the last thing we're fucking doing. Oh, about. he's wholesome. He acts like he ain't, but he is wholesome. Uh <laughs> My name is Cassidy Daniels, y'all. Thank you so much for having me. Josh, I love you, friend. I'm so glad you had me out tonight. Uh, thank y'all for attending. We've got some great artists coming up, too, so y'all stick around. Um, this last song I'm going to do is called Crazy Love. Uh, I wrote it not so wholesomely about a domestic dispute. <laughs> and, um, Hell yeah. yeah, I'm hoping this will be one of my first singles coming out. Uh, y'all check me out, Cassidy Daniels Music. Give it up for these guys, too. They're so awesome. I'm so glad to share the stage with y'all. Thank y'all. I'm aggressively me mediocre at best. <laughs> uh, I haven't noted, too, that I used to be in a metal band before I sang country. So I get to do a little bit of that in this. Kiss you like you've never been kissed Make you forget that she ever existed Even if you don't want to fall Get you singing, baby
talking about slashing them tires. I ain't setting no eyes on fire. Just look hard if you want me to. I can give you everything. Another night alone, and you'll be begging me to take you home. It won't be easy trying to take it slow. You're never gonna ever wanna let me go. Oh. I'm Cassidy Daniels. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Lava. Love y'all. Thank you. All right, good night. We'll see y'all later. <laughs> God dang. So I've been coming back and forth to, uh, before I moved here, I was coming back and forth in Nashville for a uh, better part of a year. I played around over at the local called Music Grow Freak Show, and uh, I met this guy who was playing with me, his name's Collins Horton. And I was talking about going back and forth. He said, if you ever need a place to stay when you come up here, let me know. And I said, don't fucking say that to me, because I'm going to take you up on that. <laughs> and I did for, uh, for about four months, and I stayed with him every time I came up here, and uh, I moved up here on a whim. I, uh, we got back from family vacation in Florida. And I told my parents on Sunday, I said, hey, I'm leaving on Tuesday. And then Monday morning came around. I said, fuck it. We're sending it right now. Uh, so I called him when I was crossing the Arkansas line and said, hey, if you still got that room available, I'd love to pay you to be able to stay in there. And it was supposed to be a couple weeks to get on my feet. And here we are five months later. But I love that guy. One of the first songs I ever wrote here, uh, living here full time, was with was Collins and uh, one of his buddies, Dash Paws. Dash had just gone through a breakup, and and uh, I'm just clinically depressed, so I love writing sad songs. And this is what we came up with, man. This is this is gonna be a uh, the summer single. It's called Hail Mary. Raising bell and throwing the towel Between the blood, sweat and tears Bottled up over years I've had more than I can allow I ain't saying you're a sinner I ain't saying I'm a saint But I'm on the edge of ready to break My time is running out The clock is winding down I'm suited up and ready to play I'm throwing up a Hail Mary What the hell? Fossil found from grace. I kept in monster buried. Cause the weight I had to carry. That's fear written on your face. You saw the devil in my eyes. 
lies, heard the truth in your lies. Staying was my biggest mistake. Now I'm down here on my knees praying. I can't believe these words I'm saying. But you can go to hell, Mary. Playing games, gaslighting, strike a match and burn it all down. We tried to use the smoke to hide the misery we kept inside, and now the world's gonna find out. But going up a hell, Mary, what the hell, Mary? How did we fall so far from grace? I kept that monster buried, it's a weight I had to carry. That fear written on your face. You saw the devil in my eyes, heard the truth. got a whole bunch of warm music coming up. Josh, love you. Hasten, thank you. Bryson on, on sound, thank you too. It's cool, it's your show. Uh, I'm just playing. Hey, I like a round where you hear about Jesus and sex in the same 30 minutes. That's pretty damn good. Y'all give it up for these folks up here real fast. No, no, no. I'm going to teach you how to raise your voice. Give it up for these folks up here. See, y'all can do it. Y'all hang around, get some drinks, have some fun. Thank you, Live Oak. Tip you, bartenders. We'll be right back. Friends, could they come a light ring? Go on, could they come a light ring? Go on. 